What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Find some news, man. Find some news. Today, we got 42 mods on the testing list. There's a new blog. It's SteamDB update time. The next Farming Simulator League tournament's in one month. And we got 13 modders to talk about, including some new maps and mods heading our way soon. And unfortunately, some that got removed. Let's check it out. Starting off with the mods and testing. Today, we have 42 mods on the list, and they are all in the first stage. Some notable mods on the list include Eastern North Carolina, East Vineland, New Jersey, and a gooseneck hitch adapter with bell spikes. Also with testing, we've got Universal Crusher, Penalty for Crop Destruction, and Lawn Care Trailers, which I'm guessing are David's. I don't actually know if they're done yet. He just did a stream last night. We'll talk about it later in the video. Rounding out the testing list, we have Free Range Chickens, Temporary Grazing Pasture, American Husbandry Set, and the TLX 3500 and 1982 Special. With all that being said, we still have 98 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time of newly submitted mods is about 7 workdays. Giants have released a new blog showcasing all 6 of the presentations for FarmCon 23, as well as the after movie. You can learn more about the new crops, equipment, and much more. However, we actually have talked about all of these in past news videos, but they're there in one place if you want to take a look. Just a reminder that there is still an unknown app on the SteamDB page for FarmSim 22. Lots of speculation that this could be the fourth DLC of year two, and that's exactly what I think it is as well. Usually things sit on this page for a few weeks before they're announced, and it's already been there for 17 days, so maybe we'll find out soon. We are one month away from the second Farming Simulator League tournament being held at Gamescom in Cologne. The event will be Saturday and Sunday, August 26th and 27th, 2023. Prelims will be on Saturday, with the finals being held on Sunday. Registration for teams is now open on the Farming Simulator League website, so if you've got what it takes, make sure you get registered. The event will also be streamed on the FSL socials if you want to watch it live. Jumping over to Modern News, and we start with Bullet Bill, whose map, Herefordshire, is coming together. He made and converted dozens of unique houses, bungalows, and barns for the map, and the garages also have fully working doors and modeled interior, so you can either roleplay or just having a bit more realisticness to it. Yeah. Additionally, it looks like he's starting to do some in-game tests to see how the map plays to get a better feel for it when it's in-game. Bill says that he finds it really useful and often helps him decide what needs to change or what works well on the map and what doesn't. The map is still being worked on right now, but he's updating us usually once or twice a week, so keep an eye out for more soon. Next up, Mr. Hector has finished another new feature for Carpathian Countryside, Orchards. They will work as a production chain, requiring only water to produce fruits, but you can increase the productivity with compost and fertilizer. They will also only produce fruits in the spring and summer months and will be visible when they're ready to go. He's also working on extended greenhouses with new fruits, which are in very advanced stages now. Speaking of maps, Wolf X Mana gets something new. Their first map, Zreese, you know, it looks like Greece with a Z. Uh, this is a Slovenia map with a very hilly terrain. The map's 75% forestry, which bit of a bummer, but is what it is, and has a number of fields and meadows as well. The map also will have new productions that are typical for this area. And of course, the map is still being worked on right now. And since it's their first map, it may take a little while, but it's always awesome to see them starting something new. Moving away from maps, 82 Studio went live last night showing off his Lizard Lawn Care Trailers Pack. This will include three different trailers, which he's just distinguishing with A, B, and C. There's a gooseneck, a bumper pole, and a dumper trailer. And yes, there are different configurations, customization options, as well as dumping spots for bulk goods on the A or B styles, and enclosed variants as well. The trailers you know and love for Farm Sim 19 are about to get a whole lot better with new features. Check out this live stream from last night to see everything up close. And just to address the testing list, I'm still not completely convinced that these are his, but we will have to wait and see. Yesterday, we got to see the update to Server Texas Valma 880-980 series. And today, we have the full change log. Some of these may not sound like English, pretty sure they were translated. Anyway, some notable changes include fixed volume and enhanced all sound system, added the interior sound to the cabin, 2003 model added, added worn tires, new semi-closed cabin, new cabin itself, and more, like a lot more. Uh, check out Server Tech League below to view the entire changelog for the Valmet before it's released. KRKZ Modding are bringing a new brand into the game, and I don't know how to say it. Uh, Uzduken? I have no idea. And they're Bolton specifically. There's two models there. KRKZ Modding does say that soil processing, sewing preparation, and sewing group products produced by Uzduken uh, will soon be available in Farming Simulator 22. So far, we've only seen the two models, but it sounds like there may be more coming in the future. We've also got a couple quick topics for you, starting with 40 modding whose major 2050 LGP slurry tank is making good progress. 
They're making the model 100% from scratch and contemplating making a 2400 gallon version as well. Their plan is to release it on all platforms. MLOD98 has their Metal Tech TB trailers almost ready to go and we'll be dropping them soon on Mod Hub. Oddly, this is the first time that we've heard about these trailers. There's been no teasers or updates along the way, just hey, check this out. GNFS has finished their MSL tanks well, they say tank for all platforms, but it looks like there's two different models at the back, and they both appear to be able to do all standard liquids, but we will have to wait and see. Oh yeah, and there's a dude sitting on the back. That's pretty cool. Agrar Design Austria is bringing some new steel weights from Meyer into the game. The KB80, KB145, and the HG1500 will all be making their debut in Farming Simulator. Well, 22 at least. Currently, platform information is unknown. PC Bueller Farms is adding some real herbicides for farm sim that should be able to get to all platforms. There's some different options from Cultiva that will be used with this upcoming herbicide mixing mod. That's pretty cool. And normally stuff like this only comes to PC, but he's aiming to get it on all platforms. How cool is that? Caster Modding also have some more modular mods they're working on in the background, including some greenhouses, driving silo, and global market warehouse. I know we've seen the global market in testing, and I'm sure we'll see all of these sooner rather than later. And lastly today, if you've tried to download a Lancy Boy mod from Mod Hub today, you probably noticed that they've all been removed. And unfortunately, that's all the information I've got. I don't know why, probably because he quit modding, uh, and I don't know if they're coming back. Maybe, maybe not. But for now, they're gone, and that's all I've got. Well, guys, that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new. And join the GoHam fam. Make sure your notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. That's it. Hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. Bye. Yo, I had to retake so many parts of the video today, I like forgot how to speak English at one point. What's going on?